Hey art friends, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to draw a bag of chips. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I hope you're gonna follow along with me. Let's get started. It's just me in the studio today, so remember if I go too fast, you can always pause the video for extra time. Okay, now let's start by drawing the bag. We're gonna draw the top of the bag and we're gonna draw it open with chips exploding out of the top. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes down in the middle and then back up on the right side. Then we can draw two shorter lines on each side. And then let's draw a line that matches that first line. This is that top part that you pull apart <laughs> and then you can reach in and get the chips. Next, we're gonna draw the side of the bag and we're drawing it wrinkled. So we're gonna draw little bumps in it too. And this part doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You can change this. So I'm just adding little bumps and wrinkles Maybe a little sideways V shape here. And then let's add a short line just like we did up here at the top. So we'll make sure that there's a little diagonal line right there. Then we're gonna repeat that same line or curve on this side, but maybe this is different. We could draw it a little bit bumpier or change the bumps. And then right here at the end, I'm gonna draw that same diagonal line. Then let's draw the bottom of the bag connecting together. And then let's also draw a second line that matches. There we go. There's our bag of chips. Now we need to add the chips coming out of the top. So let's draw round or oval chips. So they kind of look like the shape of a potato and we can add. So there's our first one. We only drew part of it since it's inside of the bag and we could change the shape. Maybe they're triangle shape like Doritos. These could be ruffles. We could even draw ridges on them too if we want. And I'm gonna draw another shape here. And let's add another layer. And this one's behind the first layer. So we're only drawing part of that chip too. We could also draw some of the chips further down in the bag. So less of the chip is showing. And I'm gonna draw another one here. Maybe one sticking out this way too. And let's draw a chip that's flying out of the back. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna draw a big oval and maybe one more flying out over here too. <laughs> you could change these to be the shape of the chip that's your favorite. Maybe they're Fritos or, oh, they could be tortilla chips too. Okay, now let's draw a funny face on our bag of chips. I'm gonna draw a crazy mouth right here. I'm gonna draw a smile. Then I'm gonna draw the mouth open on this side, and we'll draw the bottom. Then let's add teeth. I'm gonna draw teeth on the top. <laughs> I could also draw teeth on the bottom. And then I'm gonna draw a big tongue sticking out. I, I always like drawing this, this type of mouth. <laughs> draw the tongue sticking out. And then we could also draw a line behind the tongue like this. And then that makes it look more 3D and we can color in this top shape and also the bottom shape for the back of the mouth. Now we need to draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a pretty big eye right here. And then the same size eye over here on the right. And then let's also draw a smaller circle inside. Always like adding these little highlights to make the eyes look shiny. And then we can color in that big circle but leave the little circle white. That part I sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. And this next part, we're going to color in our drawings, and I'll fast forward again, but at the end you can pause the video to match my same coloring, or just take time to color your drawings any way you want. You could even change the flavor of your chips, maybe they're barbecue or ranch. Oh, I love cheddar. I'm almost done coloring in my drawing but I'm adding a few extra details. So I first colored the bag blue, a lighter blue, and also added this little detail, like a chip on the face. But you could change this to be uh, the actual bag of chips that you really like to eat, like maybe Doritos, or like we mentioned, Fritos or Ruffles. But you can also add extra details like shading. And I'm using a darker marker, a darker blue marker, to add these little uh, lines on the top and the bottom of the bag. And then also little wrinkle lines on the side. 
And then you can also use a white colored pencil if you're using markers like I am, or if you're using colored pencils, you could also do this. I like adding little reflections or highlights. This makes the bag look shinier. We can add little highlights over here too, on this side to match. You could also add them on the top and here on the bottom. Also like adding bigger highlights in the eyes. So going back over the white of the paper and then you can even add a smaller highlight right next to it. This makes them look even shinier. Then I also like adding a reflection on the bottom of the eyes. And I'm just using this light blue colored pencil to add that on top of the black marker. Then we could also add shading and texture to the chips. So I'm using number 24 if you have the same art for kids have markers. If not, you could just use a dark or an orange or darker yellow. And then we can add these lines going down our chips. We can also add some shading to the chip too to make it look more 3D. Let's add the shading first. So I'm gonna add lines like this, maybe down here at the bottom where the chip is going into the bag. And then also, especially on those chips that are overlapping behind the other chips. Yeah, then we can add the lines for the texture on the chips. If you wanted to make your chips barbecue, you could color them orange, <laughs> a darker orange, or maybe this, this color for the whole chip instead of yellow. Or maybe you like the sour cream and chives, you could add little green sprinkles on top of your chips. <laughs> you could really do whatever you want. I also had to add funny faces to the chips that are falling or jumping out of the bag. Oh, and one last thing, I used my black marker to add an extra line right here and also right in between these chips and over here. Then I used a darker blue to make it look like the bag is open. This is the back part of the bag. That makes it look even more 3D. Now you can pause the video right now to match my same color or change the colors any way you want. Remember, you don't have to use the same art supplies that I use to make your drawing. You could use colored pencils, crayons, or you could even paint your drawing. That would look really cool too. And one last thing, don't forget, it's okay if your drawings look different than mine. In fact, I hope they do look different. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing your own bag of chips. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.